Today, a St. Tammany Parish grand jury indicted Jack Strain on two counts of aggravated rape, two counts of aggravated incest, one count of indecent behavior with a juvenile, and a count of sexual battery. The charges are shocking for many, and indications are this is just the beginning. Two of the alleged victims were children under the age of 12 when they say former St. Tammany Sheriff Jack Strain raped them in the 70s and 80s. A St. Tammany grand jury believed them, indicting Strain for two counts of aggravated rape. In January, Mark Finn told us in an exclusive interview he was one of the victims. He used to molest me. How old were you? I say it started probably around, around six years old, up to 12 years old. And then he got to the point that he started raping me. A self-admitted career criminal, Finn was arrested again last week on a drug distribution charge. He's currently being held at the St. Tammany Parish Jail, the same place as his alleged abuser. Strain walked into the jail wearing handcuffs this afternoon to the facility he once ran. Louisiana state troopers arrested him at his Abita Springs home Tuesday. The grand jury indictment says two of Strain's family members also allege aggravated incest, sexual battery, and indecent behavior with the juvenile. I have a duty to pursue justice when a crime has been committed. The grand jury also has a duty. And when presented with evidence that makes a determination of probable cause evident to them, they returned an indictment. The sex crimes investigation came to light as federal officials looked into a kickback scheme court documents say involved strain. In the fall of 2017, the Louisiana State Police, the FBI, and the IRS presented me with evidence that former St. Tammany Parish Sheriff Jack Strain had, had engaged in sex crimes. Over the following months, we conducted a joint investigation, brought in the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, and used the grand jury to confirm and corroborate the allegations. Two of Strain's top deputies and best friends, Skip Keen and David Hansen Sr., pleaded guilty to kicking back money to Strain through an inmate work release program. As of now, the sheriff has not been charged with a federal crime. Strain again is being held at the St. Tammany Parish Jail with a $400,000 bond tonight. He faces a mandatory sentence of life in prison if he's convicted. His attorney, Billy Gibbons, did not return to our request for comment today, but he has denied the allegations in the past.